Hello, dearlings and darlings, it's your friendly neighbor, Quackwall, and welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. We are going to go up here. Just for the sake of dumb stuff, let's just go ahead and fast travel, because I just don't, I don't, I don't want to. I don't want to. Born skeletons, so Lord knows what we're going to find here. That's fine. Let's see if anybody's come back. Doesn't really look like it. So we're just gonna go off in this direction. No, I'm not gonna collect any flowers just yet. You know what? Hi, Pebbles. I love that you just, like, come out of nowhere. You know what? We're going to cut across. That's a dead horse. I don't want to get involved in that. Ah, this is a field. Hope I don't trample anything too important. It's a beehive thing? No, that's a shrine. Go off this direction. That's the dude's house. Well, we're gonna go. Ugh, gotta get around the stupid stuff in the road. Wait, is this it right here? That's interesting. <coughs> oh. <coughs> oh gracious, excuse me. Hello. What's what in the Hello. Talk to me. Do you need anything? Yes, actually, what is wrong with your hair? I'm looking for the priest, Father Simon, and I heard you might know of him. Simon? What do you want him for? I'm looking for the priest who used to take care of St. James. And the locals tell me they saw him around here. I don't know if I can help you there. He'll never go back to his parish if you ask me. Very well. What is it you want to know? What went on between Simon and your daughter? Nothing that hasn't happened before. Our Mary was his housemate in Scallets. She was pretty, very pretty. And he was young, and so things went the way they do between comely young folk. She came back home one day, heavy with child. Ooh. These things yes. happen. These things happen. What can you do? I said as much. I was just glad our girl was provided for. Only she never had the chance to hold that babe in her arms. She didn't live through the birth. Oh, sorry. Such is a woman's lot in life. Men die in battle, and women in the arms of the midwife. And what happened to Simon? The poor man. He took it the worst. He was sure God's wrath smote Mary for her fornication. That's rubbish. People lie together out of wedlock all the time, and God never smites them down. That's just what I told him. Mm -hmm. But it's hardly my place to lecture a priest. And who knows? Maybe he was right. Nope. The Lord moves in mysterious ways. He was overflowing with grief. He barely spoke, didn't eat, refused to take a new housemaid. And then, one fine day, the presbytery was deserted. He took a good season before another priest came along. Where can I find him? He's said to be wandering around here somewhere. I heard that too, and I'm inclined to believe it. Even though I haven't seen him myself. How come? After our poor Mary went to her rest, we used some of the money he'd paid us to put a cross up by the roadside. And lately, 
there's been wreaths of comfrey turning up next to it. I don't take them there, nor my husband neither. You think Simon does? Who knows? Maybe it's a miracle. I could believe anything. But there's not been fresh ones for a while, so perhaps he's moved on elsewhere again. He says. And where is that cross? Can you tell me where that cross is? Certainly. There are settling tanks for the mines to the west of Scalitz. On the hill above them in the woods, there are several paths. Mary's cross is by one of them, close to the brook. All right. Thanks. Okay. I'll be going. Very good, then. And if you do find him, let him know that we have no hard feelings. I'll tell him. Goodbye. Is that it? Do I need? Do I not need to find the skeleton's priest? Go to the cross. Okay, so we'll go to the cross. Pebbles, come here, Pebbles. Oh, you're right here. That was dumb of me. I'm sorry, Pebbles. My apologies. Do 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 do. Do do. Yep, that direction. Bloop, 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 bloop. Can you get up? No. Oh, Pebbles. You weird little horse. See, now you can get over. Aw, look at all the little lambs. Oh, you can do it, Pebbles. There's still not much left of this town, huh? It's so weird to think that this is our hometown. Okay, can we go this way now? Yeah. Oh, stuck in a bush. Come on, pebbles! You can figure this out. I don't like that. Sorry, Pebbles. Oh, you're getting stuck on a tree stump? Come on, babe. You can do this. down that? Slowly but surely. Uh 
That was funny. Well, there it is. Okay. Oh, I'm stuck inside pebbles. Oh, shut it. Oh, here it this is. This must be that cross. Mary's mother was right. Someone did lay flowers here recently. I should have a look around and see if there's comfrey growing anywhere nearby. We're also going to grab edible things. Comfrey. Could do with a bite to eat. Yeah, I know. Wait, two? Is that it? Oof. Missed. Horrifically. Still missed. No, I didn't! Yeah! Take! Steal? It's mine. I'm not stealing it. It's mine. Okay, let's see. Food. Let's eat that. You know what? Where are we at? Nourishment 50. Oh, you won't let me. Fine. And I want to see how big this area is to search. Surprisingly not that big. Okay. Budge. Am I out? Hunting arrows. Yes. Shit. Okay, well, let's try and retrieve our arrows. No? Boo. Okay. I guess if nothing else, we'll just pick mushrooms. I wish the berries were a thing in this game. It'd make life a lot easier. Oh, we're at 51. So there's that, I guess.
fine. But we're going to get some stuff. So, I mean, there's that, I guess. Okay, so where's these guys at? I don't want any of that. I just want to look at your food. Oh, God almighty. What did you do? I think you'll find I freed you. But what about those poor wretches? Did you have to kill them? No, I only oh, killed one. They assaulted you and held you captive. Who knows what they would have done to you? And he's not dead. Know, but that didn't merit a death sentence. Well, Are you sure about that? Merciful God, this is horrific. Oh my God! Just calm down, Father. Justice would have caught up with them sooner or later. I'm sure their attack on you wasn't their first crime. I know, but still. I'm sorry, but there was no other way. With all this chaos in the land, scoundrels like these are crawling from under every rock. The governors throughout the realm are running out of hanging space. I'll have to bury them. If it pleases you, Father. And to whom do I owe my salvation? My name's Henry. You may remember me. I'm the son of the Scallet's blacksmith. Your face does seem familiar. But listen, Henry, I can't help feeling you didn't stumble across me by accident. It's true. I've come to ask a favor of you. Me? What on earth could I do for you? I need you to go back to St. James. The folk there need spiritual guidance. Scallets is a burned out shell, and many have died in St. James. They need a priest. Any priest. I understand, but I have to disappoint you. I gave up my calling. Instead, I've given myself over to repentance. I know your story, Father. Then you know what I'm guilty of. Yes, and I don't want to try to make light of it. Your conscience is your own affair. But I know that deep down, you're a good man. You don't know what you're saying. You don't know me. But I know what you did. Many priests break God's commandments willy-nilly and aren't the least ashamed. That doesn't absolve me of my sins. God's law is set, no matter how often it's violated. You're certainly right. But the people need you. And forgive me for being blunt, but while you can leave the presbytery if you choose, it doesn't absolve you of your duty to Christian folk. But I'm a sinner. I'm not fit to guide anyone. I'm unworthy to do so. Priests, bishops, monks, abbots, they're all sinners. Even the Holy Father himself is a sinner. You've done your penance, and now your people need you. Well, you're probably right. It is my duty. At least for a time. Until they find someone better. I don't think they'll find anyone better in a hurry. All right. I'll take what I can carry and go back to St. James. Yes, do. Your parishioners will be very grateful. And that. I need help with treatment. Hmm, and what's wrong with you? Oh, nothing. But Philip from Scalitz is dying. He's lying in Sassau and won't last long. Slowly now. What happened to him? Nobody knows much. He's not wounded. But I heard he was hiding from the Cuman for days in a pile of carcasses. The Lord have mercy. The living should never lie with the dead. His intestines must be purged. But even then, he's in God's hands. How do I clean his intestines? It might surprise you, but you'll have to give him alcoholic spirits. The purest you can get your hands on. The best is distilled from Artemisia. It'll make him a bit delirious, but it'll help. I'll show you how to prepare it. Please do. Woo! Uh, okay. Do they have a food thing around here? Because that would be fantastic. They've got a campfire. Why can't I fish? Hmm?
What do you mean? Ugh. Okay, you know what? So, they didn't like that. Let's go to Rovna. Accept. Evade. You know what? Let's just stop. And then we'll one. I think I've still got my sword out. Do I still have my sword out? Please let me have my sword out still. Oh my god. Why does this take so long? What are you doing here? Tired of life, are you? No. Oh my god. Dude. You are a beast. Okay. You know what? <laughs> we might we might stop there. <laughs> Let's see. How much we have to do now? Are you fucking kidding me? <sighs> yeah, no, we're gonna stop there. I... I cannot. I cannot. I should have slept and saved. Okay. Whatever. We're... We're ending it. I don't care. I'm annoyed. This gate is so annoying. I hope I can finish it. I really hope I can finish it because... Oh, buddy. Alright. When we come back, we're going to do that all over again, I guess. God, that's annoying. Okay. Yeah. Alright. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.